Hi, my name is Kevin Fernandez and welcome to my channel, Gamers Genie. Today, we're going to do an unboxing video on the game Rival Restaurants and the expansion Rival Restaurants Back for Seconds. Now, uh, this game was actually talked about last year with a friend of mine from uh, my work at Best Buy, my friend Nikki. She, she talked about it and everything and then almost the next day after this was, we talked about it, they announced that they were going to make this game, Back for Seconds, which got me pretty excited that I had a chance to back this and this. So, I want to point this out before we start um, opening the boxes. This game is the retail version that you would buy if you bought it from online, in a store, or wherever you're buying it from. So, what you see is what you're going to get in this one. This one, however, is my Kickstarter version. So every so the components that are in this one may not be the same as the ones that you get for the retail version. Um, you know, the covers of the box look really good. They got the nice chefs and everything. But I mean, that's as much as I can talk about it with these. So let's crack these nuts open, see what's inside. Okay, so we have our main set. Um, this one is the core set. Um, that comes with, it's a two to six player game for ages 10 and up, but you know, that is up to you guys at home to decide that age. And it's 45 to 60 minutes, so it is a bit of a, it seems like it's a bit of a, a go through, but I'm pretty sure it might be quicker once you learn how to play the game. So we're going to flip this over on its back side. We have the back, it shows some of the components. Here's a list of all the contents that's in this box. And everything, and you got the same stuff over here, player count, and it's got the tagline, Revenge is a dish served, best served, cold, and hot. So we are going to take our X-Acto knife, and we're going to cut along the bottom of the game, cut along the top. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Online, this looks smaller and thinner. Didn't realize how big it was going to be. Uh, I guess that just goes to show you don't, uh, don't go off the pictures. I'm going to toss that off to the side. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some puns in here. I like puns. Okay. And see what this is. Oh, it's a quick start guide for just like quickly learning how to play the game. Um, a lot of games have been including these lately, and I'm liking that. Also, I want to point out, if you see anything, any, like, white, um, like, powdery stuff on the table, I just took down our Christmas tree, so that's fake snow. I want to point that out to everybody, that is fake snow. That's nothing to be alarmed about. And we got our rule book. With all of our cards and everything. It tells us how to play. So we can all have fun and enjoy our friend's company. This tells us the chef's powers, which is good. Um, tells us how much everything is worth. All right, index. We're going to toss that off to the side. And here are the restaurants. Each one's a different, like, pun. Oh, this looks like one you can just create uh, create yourself. That's interesting. I, I kind of do like that sometimes, where you can add a little creativity. But they kind of go with some of the standard types of restaurants that you would see. Um, and it, I like the artwork on these. Really good. Um, these are discard tray stickers. So you're supposed to put them on the discard tray. I will be handling that later. I'm not going to be handling that in this video. And here is our board. Um, you put the uh, piece right in here in the center. Uh, this is where garbage goes. Here's where all the action cards are, and this is where you put all the ingredients. You put that all along here. Uh, this is not a how to play video. I'm pointing that out right now. Not a how to play video. We're just opening it up and taking out the characters, like these different chefs. Got a nice little punch out to them. Some of the chefs look like they go with some of the restaurants, but I was told you can mix and match. 
uh, which is good because you don't want to have like which chef goes with which restaurant. Looks like uh, off screen Jordan's doing some yoga. There we go, we got that done. And oh, there are two. So we'll punch out the coins. Gonna get all these coins out. A lot of coins to punch out. Punching out the coins. Gonna put these off to the side. I'm gonna try to keep them separate. Punching out the coins. So, you know, I know a lot of people have an issue with the paper money and there are certain games that have that, but I'm kind of wondering how many of you at home, let me know in the comments below, how many of you feel about like, you know, cardboard punch out stuff, uh, like punch out money, more importantly, uh, not like, you know, just random punch out tokens like these trash bags. Garbage. We're take, we're punching out the garbage. Okay. I'm pretty sure the the uh, expansion got these. I'm gonna put them over here. So okay. Oops. Gonna punch out all these golden coins. Come on, guys. Try to keep it neat. We want to make sure keep everything neat. Put that there. The one thing I'm curious about is how well is this going to get packed back up? Because um, I know some games who don't pack back up very well, so uh, this will be interesting. Careful. Oh no, I punched downward, not upward, but something still flew at me. Okay, keep going. Oh, I was going to throw that away. Um, let's see. Ah. Got it back. Whew. It's a new game. Don't lose stuff already. Come on. I can see why a lot of people talk very highly about this. Uh, the, the components alone seem very good. They look very basic, but sometimes that basic uh, really can go a long way. You know, cardboard cut punch outs uh, usually go a long way. Okay. We got these cards. Uh, it looks like it tells you what everything is and does and everything. It's a uh, player aid. So, nice to know we have a player aid. Okay, and we're going to punch these out. Uh, oh. Boom. There's a lot of them. Okay.
Now let me. Okay, so it is just. Okay. It is just garbage, it looks like. So. Got these. Got these, they say ready to move. that there, put that there. Now usually, there they are. So these are the stands for your chefs and these will keep these nice and balanced. Of course I will probably do that later. I have no clue what these are for. I have no clue what these are for, but they look nice. I'm gonna take some out actually. Because these look worth showing. They look like little chip clips, uh, but I don't think they'll work well with your potato chips. Pretty sure there's a specific way to put all this stuff back. Uh, put that, put that. Okay, cool. So let's see. I just clipped my nails. Perfect timing. So I'll take that exacto knife, put it over here. And this is the food, which I thought was going to be a little bigger. So we got potatoes and bread and rice and flour, noodles, more potatoes, more bread, more rice, more flour, some more noodles. And I think it's just going to be bread, rice, flour, noodles. This is like breads and grains. Nice. Got a nice food group right there. And we're going to, there we go, throwing that out. We got eggs, butter, milk, cheese. This is uh, dairy and pr protein. Okay, add those in there. We got a little timer because I heard this game is pretty fast paced. So that's why I'm kind of like puzzled about the time. Um, Mystery Mart. So I'm assuming these are going to be foods that don't really belong in a specific category or at least the designers couldn't think of where to put them. And we got tofu, chocolate, tofu, alien goo, wine, more chocolate, secret sauce, alien goo. What's your secret? It's alien goo. Where'd you get it from? You don't want to know. All right, got all that. The mystery mart is what that section's called. So we'll put mystery mart back. Grab this. Uh, put that over there. We got poultry, beef, shellfish, fish, pork, and rinse and repeat. So it's nice to know that if something's gone, it will most likely come back in another round. So seeing duplicates like that kind of makes me happy because it doesn't mean that there's like this thing that's like everybody should get and once it's gone, it's gone. And we got our vegetables. Oh, 
Okay, we need it. Oh boy, we got our onions, garlic, onions, carrots, scallions, uh, leafy greens. Oh, so they just like put like cucumbers and kale and broccoli. Let us depart. Let us look at these vegetables. Okay. So, we'll let us put that back. I'm going to be saying some lettuce puns now, but now it's fruit. So, aren't you glad I didn't say lettuce? We move from uh, vegetable puns to fruit puns. Got our sweet fruits. I got see some mangoes, some strawberries, and blueberries. Beans, so green beans, um, lima beans, black beans, all the beans, avocado, tomato, more beans, peppers, avocado. So it seems like in this, their debate is the tomato is a veg is a fruit, not a vegetable. Okay. Peppers. That kind of reminds me of a game that I just played recently called Scoville. I know a lot about peppers. I wonder if they got some of their peppers from Scoville. That'd be interesting. All right, I got to figure out where's the thing. I see. I see that this has like a little, little thingamajig. There we go. The thingamajig has been opened, so now we can. Now these are the recipes for you to make the food. So we got a grilled cheese sandwich. We got uh, chicken fried rice, mango pudding. Man, this is making me hungry. Peking duck. Uh, shrimp chow mein. Wow, I'm getting really hungry right now. I'm probably not going to list all these foods. I'm just going to go through them now because every time I say one of these foods, oh, French onion soup. Ah, ratatouille. Who likes ratatouille anyways? It sounds like rat and patootie. Rat patootie. Caesar salad. Flan. Uh... Racha. Fried fish. A margarita pizza. Ah, oh, you can make your own recipes. Basic recipes. And you can make your own basic recipes. And then these are uh, gourmet recipes. So these are a little more harder. Fruit crepe, lobster bisque, all American breakfast, bacon, eggs, sausage, and pancakes with, um, looks like hash browns. Sounds like Jordan's breakfast. Except for the sausage, she won't touch that. California bacon burger. It's got avocado on it. Okay, yeah, it does call for avocado. That's what one of my friends said. It, what makes it California is everything gets avocado gets avocado on it. Like in Chicago, every what makes it Chicago is we supersize everything. Shrimp fettuccine alfredo, tiramisu, steak and lobster, surf and turf. A Thanksgiving potato casserole. Oh, boy. Mochi ice cream. A lot of people like that. Sushi platter. And ramen. Okay. And now we're in the final phase of opening this up. And, of course, I will probably put everything in its proper places once... I have actually started playing this game. I just don't want to do it on this video because we do have the expansion we have to get through. Okay. 
There we go. And we're going to hopefully chip this off. Okay. We've got five star review. Those are action cards. Armed robbery. Clamvoyance. Ha! Huh, I knew there was going to be puns. Alien attack. Contamination, discontent, food inception, food recall, Raiders of the Lost Pork, Fridge Raid, Go Vegan. It's just business. Jackpot, Monopoly. Ugh, Monopoly. Oh, come on. Negative Critic. Ninja attack, rat infestation, <laughs> and these ones won't help you cook better. Roadblock, shopping spree, special order, taxes. Oh, and here's our chefs now. Got our chef cards with our chef powers right here. Okay. Put that back, and then I will I will place the chef kind of in here. Going to put all the coins back here. Like I said, I am going to fix this to fit better, but uh, there's just so much, and it would take so much time that uh, I don't want to do that all in this video. I know sometimes I do do that. And I will put these over here. And the trash bags, I will put. So we buried all the chefs in garbage. Okay, and we got our restaurants. We've got our stickers. Actually, I'm not going to do that. Um, I will then place the board like right here, restaurant, along with the stickers, got that. Push that aside, put the lid back down, and there we go, the core set for Rival Restaurants. Okay, so here we go, Rival Restaurants, we're back for seconds. Um, it's going to have new chefs. I hope there's going to be some new ingredients, new uh, new recipes. I have no clue what's going to be inside this. This, Like I said, this is the Kickstarter, so not everything we're going to see uh, you will get if you buy this at a retail store. And so once again, we have uh, our content uh, right here. This is uh, a little warning saying that this is an expansion. It is not a a main set and that you do need the main set to play this. I do know that there has been a trend lately of um, of expansions of games being also standalone. So this is not the case. If you do not have rival restaurants like I just got, you are going to be in trouble. Now, of course, I'm going to stick to my rule. I do have a house rule here where you have to play it like at least twice before you start adding on the expansion or at least once with the full amount of players. So we're going to try to open this up. Jordan's being silly off camera. She's making fun of me because I'm struggling with this box. Okay, and this looks like, yep, some added rules. With this at plus uh, a reference sheet of all the chef's new powers. And we got some new restaurants that we can choose from. Giro to Hero. In no time flat, Giro to Hero, just like that. And we're going to punch out our, our new chefs. And this looks like a stand for one of the extra punch outs, so I'm going to keep that. This looks like, yeah, 
Hmm. I think this folds in, and then you just put this here and here. Yeah, it goes like this. And then you just put something on there. Okay, punching out the remainder of our chef. I believe that's just garbage. Okay, we've got more stands for our chef. Um, okay, I'm going to try to speed this up a bit, so I'm going to toss our chefs in here. Okay. Okay. We got our action card, a walk to remember, counter attack. Don't be taco about it. Mind your manners. Yes. Mind your manually. Oh, snap. Looks like the Infinity Gauntlet with uh, fruits and vegetables. These are more action cards. Snack attack. I'm trying to put this in where it won't. And here we go. The new recipes. Avocado toast. Burgers and bangers and mash. Beef wellington. Cottage pie. Oh my gosh, I'm getting hungry again. So yes, just like in our core set unboxing, I will just talk and not mention all the foods because it's making me hungry. And they look really good. Okay, now we're back to action cards, bangers, and smash. Flicks Krieg, Fire, Fire's Remorse, Dumpster Fire, Early Bird, <laughs> a Picky Eater. I don't know anybody who's like that. The Walking Bread, <laughs> a Berry Trifle. Hopefully we don't mix that up with a shepherd's pie. Bread pudding, fish and chips. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I, again, once again, I have to stop talking about the food because I can talk, but I can't talk about the food because it's making me hungry. The artwork, I will say the artwork on the different foods and stuff, very well done. And we got our chefs. There we go. I'm gonna flip these. Just gonna flip these in here. Put that there, and there we go. Rival Restaurants back for seconds. Well, there you go. There's everything in Rival Restaurants and its expansion, Rival Restaurants, back for seconds. Um, so I will, once again, I will be making a how to play video on this game right here. I will not be making a how to play video on the expansion. Um, but if you have an idea on who would be a good fit to host this video, please let me know in the comments below. It would be me or Jordan. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, just give it a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to share it, too, so we can uh, spread the word about this channel. Uh, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be notified 
for videos just like these, as well as our how to play videos and our gameplay videos on different games, and our top tens list, which became a new series last year. Um, so yeah, be on the lookout for my how to play video on rival restaurants. But until then, thanks for the views. Mm -hmm.